When the body feels unsafe and you have anxiety, logic is often not enough. You can't just talk your way out of it. By having a conversation and allowing yourself to really own your feelings, to experience them, but now you're tapping, so you're feeling calm. You're not kind of getting yourself more worked up, but you're navigating through these feelings you get to the point where, again, you're not fighting how you feel. You're not telling yourself that you should feel differently. You're not forcing yourself to be positive. You're honoring where you are. You're calming your nervous system. And once you can address, kind of really face that thought, but feel more relaxed, now logic works. Now it's easy to go, you know what, I'm not going to get fired. And if I do, I'm going to be okay. But it's impossible to jump to that reasoning and actually feel better if we aren't addressing how we're physically feeling. I think just the conversation that our mental health has a huge impact on our physical health is surprisingly relatively new in the mainstream. I mean, people have known this for thousands of years, but now the conversation is how is our anxiety impacting our body? And a lot of people look at tapping and you know they'll go through our app and they'll see that we have tapping for financial stress and for pain relief. And they're like, I don't get it. Like, well, how can one technique work for so many things? It's not working on those things. It's working on stress. And we have stress around our finances that impacts our ability to get organized and feel empowered. We have stress around a diagnosis. When it comes to tapping, people often share that it's this combination of ancient Chinese acupressure points, and also modern psychology. And the psychology aspect of it is when you start tapping, you start with an affirmation of acceptance. So you get clear on the problem and you say, even though I'm feeling anxious, I accept how I feel. Or some people like to say, I accept myself and how I feel, or I love and accept myself. The reason that this is such a powerful statement is two reasons. One is we often fight how we're feeling and allowing ourselves to simply say, I accept it. This is where I am means that when we continue doing the tapping and we're focusing on the problem, we can have a more honest experience with ourselves. To be able to say to yourself, I can relax even before this problem is fixed, even before I have the answers. It gives your body permission to exhale. And the irony of it is the moment we stop having so much pressure to have all the answers, the easier it is to begin to navigate the situation and begin to find the answers that we're looking for. But it begins by just giving ourselves permission and reminding ourselves that even within uncertainty, we can calm our nervous system and that we are safe.